Is that a new video? Back to back? What's going on? Is this Xerian? Nah, for real though. Uh, what's up guys? Sea Phantom Politis just got released, and this unit is fucking broken. So, um, as you can see, here is my Politis. Now, <laughs> she's on like, just on filler gear by the way. Like, this is all of my secondary gear. I didn't strip anybody for this. Well, kind of my Lua, but that's really it. My Lua lost like, 8 speed, but I don't use Lua, right? But even with this build, she is so broken. Like, she's not even that fast, because the way I'm drafting her, like, if you first pick her, people think she's fast, so they'll respect her speed. Or they'll pick Zeo Ren, which is going to be faster than your 308 Politis anyways. Right? So, it's sort of uncontested in the speed department, depending on where you pick her. And, uh, just Enrage is just such a strong buff for aggro and for tempo. And her giving speed down is just so busted. Um, I used her in RTA for like four games and I want every single one. I'm on a five game win streak right now. As you can see, I'm, <laughs> we're actually close to Legend. But all of these, like... Uh, Politis there, Politis there, Politis there. She got pre banned here, so I just cleaved him. And Politis here. Now, the strengths of her is that she doesn't really have many weaknesses. Like, yeah, they can go Zeo Ran, but that's like the closest chance of you losing with Politis. But then Zeo Ran kind of has their own counters. Like, if you know how to play against Zeo Ran, then it shouldn't be too big of a deal. And they can go Cavill, right? Because Cavill is a Fighting Spirit unit. And Cavill like, was like a core part of that uh, Zeo Ran draft. So they have to like think of other stuff. But I just wanted to show off the matches that I played. Um, this is like uh, Politis and Cleave essentially, which I think uh, works pretty well because attack and sp attack and speed increase is like broken for Cleave obviously, and being able to strip buffs and all that stuff is nice. Um, I didn't get to try her out with Blitica yet, just because I wasn't really comfortable picking Blitica against like Ed and Genua and stuff like that. But I think she's really good with Blitica as well. Um, I think one of the people in my server actually mentioned to me about it. And it was like, oh, I didn't even think about that. Because she, get, she gets speed down, right? So Blitica gets the max damage every time. So we S3 here, Solvern. And then, because I know Genua procs first, right? Before Ed. And then if Genua procs first, that means Politis procs before the Ed. So I get an S2 on defense broken Ed here with Enrage buff. So it does, you know, a decent amount. We barely live, thank god. Oh, never mind, we just straight up die. <laughs> but it's fine because um, Genua can't kill all three, right? He can kill Poli here, which is fine. And then Zeo kills the Ed. He already eats, so whatever. And then Briar just kills the uh, Genua. <clears throat> so that was in like a cleave draft. Now the other games, um, I used him in like, or used her in like an aggro setting. So for example, in this one, um, I saw a lot of people be picking Zeo Yufin. And when people first pick Zeo, I take two guideline openers. So I still have tempo. I don't lose tempo just because they first pick Zeo. And I just toss an Aiden in there. And we have Decor as my anchor. I still have Steny in case I want to soul burn. Like a pretty aggro draft, I'd say. So he gets pushed back, he loses a lot of health, but I mean, uh, Yufin and Politis, they don't really do much because of the resource reduction, right? And then this is Degen Poli, so it's not getting any damage. So I go for the S2 to strip. I don't proc stealth, which is kind of shitty, but it's fine. Um, and here, I don't I don't press my skills, right? Because I don't want to activate Poli and then activate like a Abyssal Crown or something like that. Or if it's DPS Poli, I don't want to take a lot of damage, so I just S1, which is fine. You don't have to press your skills on Poli. Um, it just warps the draft where they have to pick something like a Abyssal Crown Poli to deal with it. But I think Politis Aiden is extremely strong. I and mean, Ocean Breeze just doesn't do anything versus uh, Politis. As you can see, he got half a focus. So, 
their focus and their fighting spirit gain is just nothing. And he, as you can see, like they have such little tempo that my decor is gonna be able to S3 before they kill him. Because they just get no fighting spirit, no focus, no damage. It's just tough, you know? So S3 here, I think onto the Yuffie, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Just because if you hit, cool. If not, then, I mean, she's gonna die next turn, so you might as well just go for the S3. And we get it, and we proc Guy Light, perfect, right? The Zeal goes, hits the Aiden first time, but thankfully misses on the second hit. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> But here I still can't press my skills, right? Because um, Holy's still alive. But again, that's fine because Aiden's just there to heal off of the Zeo, right? We can provoke the Zeo here, so my Aiden stays alive. Ocean Breeze goes again. If this was if Politis was not on the field, she would have been able to S3 here and then really fuck up my team here. But she can't. So Poltis goes, uh, I'd just start be fishing for stuns at this point on Aiden or something like that. But I guess he goes for the stun on Poltis, which I don't really understand because my Poltis isn't going to do anything until their Poli is dead. So but I'm not going to aim for Poli until I kill Zeo first because Zeo's their damage dealer, right? So yeah, activates my decorv there, which is fine. We kill the Zeo. I still have attack buff. Yoink. And then... Yeah, just not enough uh, resource gain. So Decorp eventually climbs up higher and higher. There's the S1, but again. He can't stop my Decorp, right? <clears throat> so you see the S1. Um, at this point, I just start hitting the Poli, so I don't trigger counter if, it, if it's a Poli sack. S1 again, and then here I just soul burn and then we just put that thing in a coffin. Yeah. And that's game. His drafts got warped from my poly and he lost. Now, uh, here's another game I had at my poly, again in another cleave setting, because he slowed down his draft a lot, right? Uh, so I just sped back up on the last slot, and then I just want to say, holy shit, Sid with Enrage buff is fucking wild. Because Sid's a speed scaler, so him getting speed is already crazy. Getting attack on top of it is fucking broken. And then if you stole burn his S3, it's just not okay. And then you can dual attack with him after, dude, you'll just see this game. It was fucking wild. So Flea takes turn one. Um... We reset the Laya here, so she can't uh, push up her team. All right, so we do that. He counterattacks, which is okay, whatever. Um, so I don't soul burn this, right? Because I want to save my souls for Sid, so I can burn it onto the Ken. So we S3. I think I get resist on some, right? Yeah, I get. So that was a DDR on Soul Consolation, but it doesn't work because I have Politis. And it's probably ER. So we just, yeah, one tap the Ken. Like, okay, cool. Um, we blow up the DDR. He doesn't die, but he almost dies. And then we S3 here. Now, Politis with the range bow, so she gets a harder hitting S3. So we hit the Genoa, proc him, right? And then, which procs my Politis here again. And then strip off his thingy. Right. Genua goes, uh, he kills one, which is like, okay, whatever. So he goes for Politis. And then Laya goes, has to go for S1 onto the Sid. I don't know why he didn't go for the Sid, he went for Flitty. But I guess my Flitty still had the S2, right? I saved my S2 in case uh, he had stealth like this. So I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Cause I would have just S2 and then Poli drags S1 and then we'll kill Genua. But as you can see, <laughs> we dragged the Sid, do so much damage because of the thingy, and then he just dies to on a miss. Poltis is so fucking good. Oh my god. Now uh next game. 
Oh, this is just a cleave match. Uh, I guess I'll show it. He pre-banned Poli, so which means I can pick my C power pretty comfortably. So Ellie goes, goes. We just stole burn onto the Elena, so if Elena dies, then we just win, right? Nothing personal. Just business. So hit that. Um, Ilwe can just soul burn onto the Elena with the S2. Or S1. Okay, that works too, yeah. AOL activates, which activates Politis, and then I just kill the rest of the team with the uh, S3. Well, it doesn't kill the rest, but it does pretty good damage. That activates. And then Ali goes S3, or what the fuck, Aoig S3s. Proof AOL, so it doesn't die. Carmen dies though. But again, I mean, can't really do much, right? He S3s. Okay, cool. We hit the Laya here. And then C Pavel goes, and then just kills the Laya, and then that's game. Now here's the last game. Uh, this game was... So I made a couple of misplays, but we still won because that's how broken Politis is. Um, so I banned their mid, that way uh, I have a higher chance to kill all their people pretty easily. And we picked the Rowana because the Rowana activates off of Poli S2, off of Yuffie Encounter, and Zeo S1. So I was pretty confident my Ada can stay alive. So yeah, it's a 49 turn game. It's, it's pretty long. But... I'll just show you how it goes. So Zeo goes, hits the Rowana, which is fine. Again, we save our S3, um, because we don't really need to use it right now. So we just go for that. And then we S3 here, right? Because uh, we can push back the Laya. And we don't care if Poltis activates because we have Rowana. So that's fine. Yeah, so another Abyssal Crown, but... Now I have Aiden on Enrage buff, so she she can just nuke whoever she wants to here. And I'm on Cycling Season, so you already know this Zeo is fucking gone. <laughs> we smoked that Zeo because of the buff that we had. And then he's already like, now this is looking extremely hard for him, right? Fighting 3-4 after like 5 turns. So she see S3, and then we counterattack. Nice damage. Maya goes. She cleanses, I think. But again, we're fine. We have attack buff. We have enrage. We have Rowana still alive. So we are vibing. The only way I lose this is if my Aiden gets picked out when she dies to like a raw hit, like from that Yuffie just now. But now we get to get du dual attacks like this <laughs> with our Aiden, and. Rowana just heals us up all the way back to full every time. And we gotta hit the thingy again. We lose our enrage buff, but it's fine because we still have our Politis to drag our Aiden one more time. And then Rowana activates again, more healing for us. His Abyssal's not proccing, thankfully. And we reset the Yuffin here, because uh, in case she does get fighting max fighting spirit, she won't be able to S3. And we drag the Aiden again. So yeah, it is on Holy Sack. <sighs> so yeah, I can reset again. She can't S3 because we reset her. And it's just, she's just struggling, right? So we hit her again. We can S3 now, which is pretty nice. We can revive for ourselves. And we get another fat round of healing here. Well, that happens. Okay, cool. Over blind, whatever. And then we lost our enrage buff, so we won't be able to drag anything. But it's not that big of a deal. Because uh, he can kill the Aiden, but we have revive, right? I 
Now, I think he made a misplay here. I think here he should have s one and then tried to drag Yufin and hopefully it kills on a miss. Because he goes for the S2 here, which is not the right play because Yufin doesn't actually cut me. So he goes for the S2. Politis can't kill because we know it's a degen. So he just has to go for a stun, but he didn't even try to go for a stun. So he just let his Yufin die for free. So it's just kind of weird. So, we see the S2 coming. Oh, let me turn out my music just a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, we get more CR. My team's all still alive. I can S3 again with my pulley. And again, Rowan is there to heal us. It's just such a strong team, and it's undispellable too, right? So yeah, we smoke the uh, Politis here. Now here is where I make a few misplays. I almost got soloed by Laia because I held my Flitty S3. Well, you'll see it here. So I was like, okay, it's whatever. So I could just keep dragging Aiden here. Right. And then we just keep smacking her. She almost dies, right? And then go for a blind or S1, whatever. So she has her S3 now. And she kills the Aiden, which is like, okay, whatever, it's fine. She doesn't heal that much. We still have three units. And my Flitty's still technically kind of a DPS. But I make a fat misplay <laughs> by holding my Flitty S3. Because so far, I looked at his uh, cooldown here. And I'm like, oh, he still has three turns before he can use S3. Not realizing that he can S2 to decrease his cooldown. And I forgot about that, so I S1 and I completely throw. So yeah, I S1, I throw the game, because me doing that lets his, uh, lets his Laia cycle around super fast with the S2 here. And because of that, as you can see, his Laia cuts because of the CR boost and my Flitty dies for free. And I was like, oh, did I make a misplay? But thankfully not, because uh, Politis is fucking broken. So we can just apply speed down to stop their cycling. And then we have Enrage buff dragging Rowana. Even though it's a Rowana, every hit matters, right? With the attack increase. So I was like, okay, I guess we'll just play it out. So I S3 here. I don't know why I S3. I should have just S1. Because um, it doesn't matter if he kills me with the S3, I lose anyway, so I just have to go as much damage as I can. So yeah, we S1, S1, that procs, which is fine, we go for another proc here. Thank god for uh, enraged speed buff, right? So we cut the turn here. And with that, we barely kill the Laia, and... That is why Enrage buff is so fucking strong and Politis is so freaking good. Yeah. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we're going to try to make a legend climb soon. We'll see. Uh, it's like what? Probably 20 days left. So I should climb 50 ranks and try to maintain my position. So hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.